This is Harold Sudell. He's product manager for broadcast test and measurement. Harold, what are you showing at NAB in this exhibit? Uh, in this year's NAB, we're going to present the digital video measurement system RNS DVM. What instruments comprise the DVM family? We exhibit here the two members of the DVM family. On the one hand, uh, the DVM 400. It is a Ford height unit instrument. It contains a display. It can be equipped with various interfaces, just like uh, TSASI, SIMT, RF interfaces according to different standards, and last but not least, IP interfaces, electrical as well as optical. On the right hand side, we have a DVM 100NL. The DVM 100NL is the one height unit version uh, in the DVM family. Function wise, it's very similar to what the DVM 400 can offer. Who is using the DVM family and what's it important for? The main customers for the DVM family are network operators who want to ensure the proper function of the network. The DVM can monitor the RF layer as well as the MPEG-2 transport stream layer, uh, check for errors and uh, provide help to analyze and solve problems in the network of the customers. The DVM 400 is also in use from equipment manufacturers uh, who develop, for example, set-up boxes uh, to do tests on the MPEG-2 transport stream layer. What makes the DVM family unique? The DVM family offers various interfaces. Besides several transport stream interface uh, inputs, uh, we also offer IP, but also several RF input standards are supported. Most important for the American market are ATSC-8 VSP and J83B input interfaces. Another very important aspect is a user-friendly GUI. MPEG is not always an easy topic, but the GUI of the DVN makes it easy for network operators to monitor and measure on the RF and MPEG-2 transport stream level. The late, one of the latest implementations is the thumbnail view. It gives you an easy overview over the different programs which are part of an MPEG-2 transport stream.